Today we're going to be modeling this robot arm. We're going to figure out where the end effector will be using trigonometry based on the lengths of these segments here and the angles at these joints. Uh, using Desmos, we have created a, a rendering of a two-dimensional version of our robotic arm. If you see here, we can move the end effector and it automatically calculates the angle of each segment of the arm. We do this using the, the law of cosines. The idea is that this arm can be anywhere in this circle, and this arm can be anywhere in this red circle. So we have to find the point where these two circles intersect. There are two points, here and here. We automatically assume that we're using this one. We can also use trigonometry to calculate the work envelope of the robotic arm. So we can say, if the robotic arm moves out of this green circle here, then the arm will break. No more arm.